What's going on everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Folks, I hope everybody had great holidays and I hope this new year is going to be a better one and a healthy one and prosperous for everyone. So yeah. All right, folks, we're going to kick this off just one of many videos that I've been wanting to get out. Uh, this one here is pretty interesting. This is about Olympus Mons. Now this is the largest volcano in our solar system. Let's just jump right into this, shall we? Folks, Olympus Mons is a shield volcano, 624 kilometers, 374 miles in diameter, and it says approximately the same size as the state of Arizona, which is crazy, right? It is 25 kilometers or 16 miles high and is rimmed by a 6 kilometer, 4 mile high scarp. Now, in comparison, Mount Everest is only like, what, 5.5 miles high? That's insane. However, I have questions about this particular photo. Now, again, this is Olympus Mons. And folks, the more we get into it, it's going to have you scratching your head because you're going to say, okay, how are these features on this large volcano? Let's just jump right into it. All right, folks, let's just show a couple things right off the bat. One I found interesting was that we had this straight line in the back, right behind the volcano, right here. From this point, almost in the middle of the screen, all the way to the right. And the funny thing is, at first I thought this was maybe the shadow because you can see the shadow coming off, obviously, right? But the funny thing about it, the sun's still shining here, and yet the line is still here. Over here to the right, I get. It kind of makes sense because you can see the shadow area. The other thing that caught my eye was this in the back of that. It looks like white things standing up or something on what lo looks like a squared off area. Can you folks see that? And if you can't see this, folks, get out your magnifiers because this is going to be really interesting, some of the features, right? Here's another thing I find really interesting. Look at the very top of this volcano right here there's a white piece and you can't really get into this any more than this but you'll see this a lot better in a moment just something doesn't make sense this looks like some kind of weird structural thing as opposed to just your natural volcano on the very base of this volcano we have what looks like these artificial objects and you'll see that a lot better in a moment as well the other thing i concentrated on i'm looking in the shadowed area it looks like it's very dark obviously in the shadowed areas but you also have what looks like a blurring but down in the shadows, underneath, it almost looks like you can like crawl underneath the very base of this thing. You know what I'm saying? Just look right here. Of course, it is shadowed, but again, you're going to see this a lot better. In fact, why don't we just jump into this, because I think you're going to find this very interesting. Now, let's zoom into this, like in the back here. All of this weird stuff going on here. Okay? This area right here alone puzzles me. We'll zoom into that just a little bit more, just to give you guys a really good idea. Because I'm looking at this thing, I'm going, what are we looking at right here? This looks like it has edges to it. Like here. Okay. Goes off. There's something standing up out of there. I don't know if you can see that. Almost looks like it's doing this with a hole in the center, right? Have a closer look right here. Check this out. Comes off, squared, back in. Do you see that? That is interesting to me. I can see a very faint line doing this here. It looks like it does this, comes over, has a straight line going this way. Folks, I don't know what to make of this. This surely does not look like it's something natural. All right, let's just back up a little bit. Now, folks, check this out. All I did was get rid of some of the color. This is what I was talking about and referring to as far as blurring. Now, you may argue, well, Chris, this is in the darker area. It's in the, it's in the shade. And I get that. Here's the problem. Why isn't the rest of this the same way? All right here on this edge, you don't see that. Here, though, it's a complete mess. Completely blurred out. And folks, here's the other thing. Pay attention to down here. Look at the little lines. I'm going to jump in here just a little bit to show you this a little bit better. Here. This is where it gets interesting. You can see something here. There is what looks like lines here, but it appears to do this, okay? Going down like this. But there's many more objects inside this. Here's some more lines. Check this out. Looks like it's doing this here, going back. Just really bizarre shapes inside this. It's no wonder this is blurred out, okay? 
All right, let's back out of here a bit. Now, let's see what else we got here. All right, here it is a little bit more enhanced as far as this white area at the top here. Check out that other piece sticking out now. I'm not even sure what to make of that. Again, this is very squared off, very faint line. You can see it right here. Again, coming down like this, going like this, and coming up. See this? Got a nice slant right here going here, coming around. What looks like almost like this weird shape inside here. And again, with this object sticking right out of it. So what are we looking at? That to me clearly is not natural here. What is that? Here's the other thing that's pretty wild. Again, I was telling you about these other little objects right here on the side. So we have this object. We have this object here. Let's black and white this. Okay. Folks, you can see the manipulation in this. It's crazy just how much is really here. Again, here. Here. Bottom left here. This one here, a little bit right there. And we're going to enhance this a little bit better for you folks. This area right here, put this back in color. This looks mechanical to me. This doesn't look like something that's, you know, all natural. Here's a perfect example. This piece sticking out right here looks like a pipe, right? At least that's the way it looks. Well, let's look at the shadow. The shadow is right here. Notice this piece is sticking out just like that. It's protruding straight out of this volcano, folks. Question is, how big is this? Now, don't get me wrong. The way the sun's shining, it can make this small object look a lot longer, right? Still, it's protruding. And it's showing that through the shadow, okay? All right, let's get into a little bit more details here. Let's do this. Now, folks, check this out. This I find interesting because we have this on the back, straight down in the circle. This piece right here, to the left of it. Notice this right here, this whitened area, okay? But we have this line going across. Notice the other line going up right here, right there on the side of it. It looks like some kind of object near it. What looks like some kind of weird shaped object in here. Top of this volcano, right there. Now, these objects to the left, here, here, all on the very edge of this thing. Funny enough, right? Our pipe sticking out and, of course, our shadow in the lower right section right here. Okay. Now, again, I was telling you folks to keep an eye on this here because when you see that, it has these really weird shapes that do not look natural. And there's much more in this. And again, we can see all of this blurring in here. And folks, I believe a lot of this, even up here, is definitely 100% manipulated. Now, question is, is this really Olympus Mons? Or did they dress it up to make it look like that in some kind of weird structures? I don't know. Now, let's back out. Let's brighten this up, get rid of the shadowing, and folks, check this out. Get the lines in here. What are we looking at here? All in the bottom here. Look at the edge all inside here. Notice how it was extremely hard to pull anything out of this, a blurring. See this? What? A lot of this stuff, folks, you can see it peeking out little shapes here and there. This object right here, I'm not even sure what to make of that, right here, okay? This right here where I said it has these lines doing this. Now to me that's interesting because you can look at this thing and you can see what looks like small squares, okay? Another line here, another line here. Folks, clearly this is not natural. Let me take the lines off of this thing and have a better look at this area right here. Notice the little squares in here. Okay. This right here, the shape of this object, you have pieces inside here. Look like it's doing this. Okay. Something like this here. And what looks like it has lines of some sort here. Now, to me, I, I'm not sure what to make of this, folks. I don't know if they built into this thing, if it is actually Olympus Mons. We don't know if it is or not. This may be dressed up to make it look like that. Now, I'm not saying that Olympus Mons is not real. Of course, clearly it is. I'm just wondering if they took whatever's sitting here and they dressed it up to make it look like Olympus Mons when clearly it's something much more. Or this is actually Olympus Mons, the real deal, and that they built into this many thousands of years after this thing became dormant good possibility, right? And it's pure speculation. But folks, I think there's much more going on 
and it'd be no reason for you to blur any of this out, as you know, unless you're trying to hide something. It's as simple as that. It's too much of a coincidence that one, a line going straight across. Again, I can deal with the idea of being a straight line because of a shadow coming off of this volcano, right? I, I, can, I can go with that a little bit. But again, it would be doing this to shadow, right? It's not. It's literally coming straight down all along the edge. We have these objects down here that were pretty much hidden inside the shadowing or their manipulation. It was probably more shadowing because you can see where the manipulation is as opposed to down in this section. The shadows were hiding that. And of course, we have these things off to the left right here. Now, again, folks, I'm not sure what to make of any of this other than this is much more than a volcano. And I'll show you the actual original right here. Again, folks, look at just some of the stuff in here. It just doesn't make sense. Just this alone, this pipe sticking out. Clearly, it's right here in the shadow, right here to the right. That alone, what is it and why is it sticking out of this so-called volcano? The top section, what is that? You have to ask the question. Something just doesn't make sense right there. I think this is really interesting. Here's another overall look. Check it out, folks. And again, look down here. You can see these shapes very faintly down here. I especially like this object here. It looks like some kind of weird craft or structure, something built. You can see what looks like a rectangular piece with a black circle on it. There's something laying right there and it's been manipulated or it's possible it's been buried. If this thing is as big as they say it is, the base of it, it's the size of the state of Arizona, that's pretty darn large. So what is this object on the lower left? How big is that? That's what's crazy. Again, the shadows, folks, I can go back and forth to this. You can see them there. Bring this stuff out. Again, too many inconsistencies that just shout to me that not natural, looks intelligently made, just, it, yeah, it just defies logic as far as being natural. There you go, folks. Again, folks, what do you think? When I first saw this photo, I was going, hmm, I like the size of this, this Olympus Mons. I, I love everything about it. I've done videos on it where it shows another side to this thing. And it looks like it has a shell to it. Like it's been broken open and you can see inside this what look like other structures or some kind of weird roadways or something along them lines. It just doesn't make sense. Did they build into this thing? Maybe it was much smaller and they decided to build around this thing? I, I don't know. But just looking at some of these shapes, you've got to ask yourself, how does this look natural to you at all? Clearly it doesn't. To me it doesn't. And in my opinion, I believe a lot of just what I showed you is actually intelligently made. This is not naturally made. So we have to ask ourselves, was this photo made to look like Olympus Mons? Or is it in fact Olympus Mons and this stuff was built around it or into it thousands of years after it went dormant? Is that a possibility? Pretty interesting, right? As always, folks, drop your comments down below. Let me know what you think. Please like and share the video as always appreciated. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. And, and folks, if you like what you're seeing, please support the channel any way you can. It definitely helps the channel. This is just one of many coming out. It's really, really interesting stuff. Again, stay tuned. Folks, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.